Hello Aries, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly weekend reading. Sorry, <laughs> I'm coming to do your weekly reading. I am so sorry, my brain, my brain is weird. All right, so um, weekly reading for the week of nine. 18 through 9, 25, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, and subscribing and setting up personal readings with me. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, let's get this show on the road. All right, what's going on with the Aries? Aries, Aries. Aries love life, 9. 18 through 9. 25, 2017. Aries love life, 9. 18 through 9. 25, 2017. What's going on? What's going on? Okay. All right, so somebody's dealing with something that they really care about. All right, what's going on? Aries, Aries, Aries. Okay, somebody won't open their heart and it's starting to cause some kind of uh, some burdens. Somebody don't want to deal with that kind of stuff. And the situation is not looking too good in the future. It may have something to do with friends that's manipulating. Yeah. Mm. Okay, it seems like it's not looking good. Your friends think somebody is manipulate you but your friends are manipulating you as well and it seems like you really care about this relationship but it seemed like this person might not like you as much and it seemed like it might be a wise decision to listen to what these fake friends are telling you okay all right what's going on for the aries 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 Aries, 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 9, 18 through 9, 25, 2017. So, secrets are going to come out about some arrogant person. All right, and the baggage that they are carrying, okay? All right, what's going on? 9, 18 through 9, 25, 2017. All right, all right, all right. Sacrifices. So somebody is not turning, making sacrifices. So somebody is going to leave because of it. And the situation has been going on for at least three to six months. Okay. Some cards just like flipped out all together. That is terrible. But somebody is not making sacrifices. And it feel, seems like somebody is letting go of it because of that. Oh, yep. Somebody may be. Yeah, somebody wants you to make sacrifices. Yeah, so they're going to let go of you because you won't, you won't do it. It seems like they've been asking you this for a long time, or you guys might be in a relationship for a long time, at least six months. I'm here for some of you three, but I don't know. I guess if you pass that third month with somebody on your back, it is seemed like a long time. So... It seems like somebody wants you to relocate or wants you to move in with them. They want you to give up your place of living to come move up in with them. Or they want to move in with you, but you're not having it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. So, this could be friends or it could be like... Your friends are, are telling you what you need to do in this situation. Mm. This makes me feel like your friends are your baggage right here. Or are they telling you about this person's baggage? Yeah, so it seems like this person is trying to get you to move in with them. They like to offer you stuff, but they don't give it to you all the time but i feel like they do give you stuff but just not as much as they say but it seems like these friends might be more jealous of anything more jealous than anything all right it seemed like with the friends in this relationship even though this person yeah i feel like they sick of just driving 
they sick of driving. Somebody's sick of driving or flying or whatever back and forth to see you, to you to see them. Somebody is just tired of it. Yep, it's a burden. Like, why? Why do we always have to do this? Why don't you just move in? And you're like, no, my friends, I don't want to leave them. Okay, so secrets coming out. Mm. All right, so it seems like some secrets going out, coming out to slow down some process. What is this? Mm. So it seemed like you may have thought you wanted to move with this person or you may get ready to say, okay, but some more secrets are going to come out and it's going to be like, eh, I don't know if I should do this. Okay, yeah, so it seems like, whew. It seems like this person only wants them, you to move in with them so they can be closer, so they can have sex with you more. I mean, I don't know. Oh, Jesus. So, I don't get it. But this person got a third party. And I feel like you may have a third party also. But I know for sure you the person got a third party. But I don't understand why they want you to move in. I don't know if they want you to join in, move in and join in or what. But let's keep going. What's going on for the Aries, Aries, Aries? Love reading, Aries love reading. 9, 18 through 9, 25, 2017. Aries love reading, 9, 18 through... Mm. All right, so somebody wants revenge and they're ready for war. All right, 918 through 925. Love reading, Aries, Aries, Aries. Mm. Aries, love reading. All right, <laughs> again. Most of the readings, if not all of them, started with this Eight of Cups. Stop. All right, but this is the first one I think that came up reversed. Okay? So this, to me, makes me feel like somebody's not expressing uh, their feelings, love, love. They're not expressing love. Not going to revenge, okay. Yeah, they're not ex uh, expressing love because they're back for revenge. I feel like this person feel like you put them in a tight spot or they're in a tight spot. I feel like the traveler is in a tight spot. And then somebody got a lot of choices to make, you know? It's like, should I go? Should I stay? Should I be with this person? Should I be with that person? What should I do? But it seems like, um, yeah, this third party person might be somebody at work. All right, let's go. So we got the Eight of Cups. Eight, 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 eight. And it's reversed. It says, elaborate celebration, proclaimed happiness, and gatherings. New possibilities can be created when you look in alternate directions. Okay, so basically look somewhere else for happiness. All right, we got the Queen of Swords. Queen, queen, queen. It says unresolved issues, revenge, and misdirected anger. Okay. So this could be like the person with a third party. They like taking it out on the person at home because the person that won't move in is not acting right. I don't know what kind of stuff is going on here, but this. This one is beyond me. All right, so four coins. It says, uh, a person who may want too much is indicated. A person who indulges themselves, him or herself, but really anybody else. Okay, so I don't know. This could be you or this could be just a general reading. So we're looking for a person, a, a re revengeful person that um is greedy who wants and wants and wants so seven of cups it says be very careful of making mistakes a very good choice is hidden by 
Many other bad choices. Do not fool yourself with unrealistic dreams. Take the best choice and choose. So it's basically like if this, I feel like this is for the third party situation. It's like, do you pick the person that you work with or do you pick the person at home? But when you look this, it's go, no matter what, it's going to be a loss. So it's just like who you think you're going to be with. All right. And then we got the three of coins. Reverse. It says this card indicates silly workplace rivalry and boredom with your position. So it seemed like this person that you work with, that you're dealing with, or that your partner, whatever is going on, it seemed like they're getting sick of that person and they might end up choosing you. But I don't, I don't know who's on which side, but that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your Sun, Moon, Rising signs. If you want a person read, check in the description box below. Email me. We can set something up. Other than that, have a wonderful week.